I just got my new Jackery 1000 power station. I'm going to start the video by using some small appliances. This is a stovetop electric burner. This is a hot pot to boil water. I'm going to use a toaster oven to bake cookies. And I'm going to use a microwave. And it has to be a Panasonic inverter microwave set on power level 4 to make sure it uses low wattage. And then I'm going to show it charging with my 210 watt solar panel. In the comments and description I'll have a link to exactly the stuff that I'm using in this video. This is a slice of turkey and two eggs. I'm going to press, okay it's 100%, I press the AC button, turn on my watt meter, turn this to low, it's going to cook for four minutes, on the watt meter 787 on here it's saying 780 there's a fan running it's pulling air in on this side and it's blowing air out this side okay it's been four minutes and I shut it off it's reading 93 percent and the eggs are fully cooked And this is a mug of water in a hot pot for some instant coffee. And this is about how hot I get it. You don't need it to be a rolling boil. And that took about 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And now the battery is at 89%. Okay, this is turkey and green beans. And I'm going to attempt to cook it in this inverter microwave. I'm going to set it to power level 4. Cook it for 2 minutes. It's been consistently running 750 watts. And it went down to 87%, so it only used 2% of the battery life. Now I'm going to do a cup of water for tea. And with tea, I'd like it to get to more of a rolling boil. And that took three minutes and it went from 87% to 83% this is kale and ground turkey soup with seasoning salt and avocado oil power level 4 for three minutes
740, 750 watts. Fully heated up. And the battery is now at 79%. Okay, the sun is right there. Today is December 9th. So it's one of the shortest days of the year, so the sun is really weak. It's also 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna test out the solar panel for the very first time. I plug this cable into the Anderson jack of the Jackery and it's showing 112 watts input power right now it's at 79 percent and this is a 210 watt solar panel I'll go into more detail about this later in the video it's two and a half hours later and today is a partly sunny day. There's kind of a hazy cloudiness. And current status, battery is at 99%, still charging at about 90 watts. It just hit 100%, took exactly two hours and 45 minutes. And it's good because the sun is starting to set behind the trees and it's starting to shade out the solar panel. I can tell I need to build like a little frame with a wheel on one side and I can pick it up like a wheelbarrow to move it around to make sure it's always in a nice sunny spot and also build like a little weatherproof box so I can put this inside and charge it when it's raining. And I would also use weights to weigh the frame down in case there's like strong gusts of wind so this thing doesn't blow over and break. And in a future video, I'll build the little solar panel frame and Jackery weatherproof housing. I'm gonna test out charging my phone and some AAA batteries using the USB ports. There's two USB-C's and two regular things. Let me see what happens here. Okay, it says charging rapidly, so it does have the faster charging thing. And this thing is blinking, so that means that it's charging. This says output about nine watts and there's no fan blowing. So that's good, it does it silently. I'm gonna test out a regular plug-in battery charger. Okay. Pulling 16 watts and the fan isn't running. That was the one thing I was curious about. If you plug in a low draw appliance, the fan isn't running, which is good. Okay, now I'm gonna try to bake some cookies. This is gonna be the most intense power draw that I've tried. I'm going to set it for 20 minutes. The unit is at 99%. Saying it's drawn 100 watts. On here, it's also saying 800 watts. Something kind of interesting is when I use this toaster on my household electric outlets, it uses 990 watts. But on this thing, it's showing about 800 watts. 
and it's also verified on my kilowatt meter, about 800 watts. Maybe it has something to do with the pure sine wave thing in the unit. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. It's at 80%. So it used 19% of the battery power. And from looking at the cookies, it looks like it's cooked them just as good as if I use my household electric power. And they look exactly the same. <clears throat> Nice and crispy, toasty brown. Now I'm going to test my refrigerator. Right now the battery is at 80%, showing 170 watts being drawn on the Jackery, 156 on the kilowatt meter, and the compressor is running. The battery dropped 51% in nine hours. So it's still a pretty decent amount of time for running a refrigerator. It's December 12th, 10.30 in the morning. It's another overcast day. And I just plugged in the solar panel. It's at 29% input of 90 100 watts, must have been a break in the clouds there, down to 73. I can tell that this type of solar panel is kind of meant to be installed and left. It seems kind of fragile, so I will end up buying some of the Jackery 100 watt solar panels. They're more expensive, but they're built to be moved around, to be thrown in the back of your car. They're much more rugged than this type of panel. Just hit a patch of very heavy clouds. And it's showing 26 watts of input power. It is five hours later. The sun is setting behind the trees. It's been mostly cloudy all day. It went from 29% up to 54% today. Going to cook a pancake. Set this to medium. It's currently at 53% showing 790 watts being drawn. This will be about as equal to baking cookies as far as electricity being used. It's about 16 minutes later. Altogether, it used about 15% of the battery life. Mmm, it's a little burnt on the back, <laughs> but it's still looking good. So this thing is awesome. It's run every appliance that I've needed. My ideal scenario would be to have two of them for redundancy, and also you could have one outside charging while using one inside the house. And this would also be a perfect solution for a stealth RV van. We have a solar panel on top of the van and you just charge these things inside and they're small. Everything is included in one unit. You don't have to wire a bunch of different components up. So this thing is perfect.
Okay, in this little box, it says gift. And inside is a cable so you can connect two of their Jackery solar panels to the power station. In this pouch, you get the plug-in power supply to recharge the unit. You get one of these 12 volt things that you can plug into this thing right here. The unit is fairly lightweight and it's made out of really thick heavy duty plastic. I like this little, there's a little LED flashlight right there. When I press that display button, this lights up. It shows that the battery is at 35% out of the box. And after 15 seconds, the display automatically shuts off. Okay, I've got the power supply plugged in. I'm going to let this charge up to 100%, I'm gonna time it. And right now the power supply is drawing 152 watts of electricity. One thing I just noticed, after 15 seconds the backlight turned off but the display is still showing. So that's kind of cool that you can still read everything as things are in progress. Okay, it's been five hours and it's at 99% and when it hits 100%, this light turns from blue to green. The FedEx guy just came by and dropped off my solar panel. Look at how he just dug up my driveway. I heard him when he pulled in. I could hear all this giant engine revving and tire spinning <clears throat> and look where he left the solar panel if I didn't know that was there <clears throat> and like came out in my garage and pressed the garage door button <clears throat> this thing would have fallen over and broken and there's some pretty significant damage on the box right here but I've done a preliminary inspection. I don't have it fully out yet, but it doesn't, I don't see any cracks. And upon close inspection, it seems to be undamaged. I haven't seen any scratches or cracks or dings or dents. And it's also a lot bigger than I was expecting. It's almost as tall as I am. Here's a look at the back of the panel. It came with some washers and there's little holes, mounting holes on the edges. Here's the junction box and the wires with connections. And this is a 210 watt solar panel from New Power. And I want to be prepared if I have to, I have to work on this thing. So I'm going to look inside the junction box. I notice there's a little diagram that shows a screwdriver and how you're supposed to open this thing. I take a small flat bladed screwdriver. I push it in, not all the way down, about three quarters of the way down and turn it and it and push with this finger and they come off and the wires are soldered and there's two diodes here's a look at the back cover there's a red rubber o-ring sealer and these are the little latch on prongs that grab and hold it on tight
So I bought this cable and it's going to connect to the solar panel wires and this end will connect to the jackery positive to positive negative to negative okay the sun is right there got this kind of propped up for a little test voltage got my multimeter plugged into the wires showing 19.4 volts 